You look so comfortable on camera. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> well, you do look comfortable on a wrestling mat, and yeah. you certainly look comfortable in a coach's shirt. Yeah. Tell me how it's been transitioning to a coaching role. It's been good. I've really enjoyed it. I, I think it's a lot more work than I thought of whenever I was an athlete. I think everybody kind of says that, but a lot going on behind the scenes, but I really enjoy it. I think just being creative in ways that you can optimize these guys' performances because a lot of them looks different from optimizing my performance as an athlete. You know, I think everybody works a little differently and finding out those unique ways has been, that's been a cool thing about the transition into the coaching side of things. Give me an example, man. Well, what, what yeah. would you have? Your optimum looks different than yeah. other people. So what, give me an example of what surprised you. I, I think the way that you communicate with them is huge. Um, so for me, like, I was just a very straight up person. Like, if I was doing something wrong or there was a different way to be doing it, I appreciate when people were very blunt and like, hey, like, I think you're wasting your time. Whereas some of these kids, even if you say that, like, they will kind of like get guarded and be like, oh, I don't know, this guy's pretty brash. And more along the lines of like, maybe I just like sit him on, on the side after practice, like, and kind of open it up being more open-ended. Like, hey, what are you feeling here? And what is like working and what's not? And then you can kind of come up with a better plan from their input. Um, the, the kids that, maybe aren't that communicative, um, those can be tough. But if you get them to like come up with the idea on their own by giving them some options and then putting it into place, it's a little bit easier than saying like, hey, I know a better way for you and let's right. do it. They might be a little bit like, oh, I don't know. Like uh, it's kind of catches you off guard, but th Make that- think it was their idea. Yeah, yeah, making them think it's their ideas is kind of a thing, but you're not, it's coming from you because you're giving them like some input, but it's coming from more of a, you know, here's some options that we can go and what works best for you. You can. Yep. You can do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I think for me, I was more along the lines of like, hey, here's the plan. Let's go out and do it. You suck at, at defending a, a low single. Here's what we need to do to, the, to work it out. Whereas some of the kids, like maybe they don't respond that well. And so that's an adjustment as a coach is, figuring out, hey, like maybe he doesn't respond that way. He'll do the work, but not from... He be excited and difficult. Yeah, yep. So that, that's a cool thing about about seeing the other side of things, for sure. Okay. What was... You said it's a lot more work than you expected. Tell mm -hmm. me what exactly was more labor-intensive than you thought when you came in? Uh, I mean, the sheer amount of phone calls that you make is, is a big thing. Um, I, I mean, you start out with a recruiting board and... You know, some of the kids uh, will, you know, you, you talk to, but a lot of them, you, you know, you hear from and they have different plans and that's totally fine. And then you just kind of move on to finding the next guys. And a lot of it is like, you're just kind of in the, looking at wrestling matches, looking at results and being like, who makes sense? And learning from them and hearing their side of the story. So the recruiting side, it, it seems like a lot of work. And, um, you know, I haven't been doing it long enough to kind of like, look at the data and look at the, the success rate, but that's something that I do. Um, and so over a time period, I'll get a little bit better at it. But I mean, right now with just doing something for the first time, you're, you have a lot of these data points and trying to make sure like you're optimizing is something that I'm kind of doing, but I haven't had like the, um, the time period, body the body of work right. to really see it. So that part of thing and like, Honing my craft as a recruiter is something that I'm working on and, and will get a lot better at, but I just, I need a little bit more time to see the data kind of play out. That makes sense, man. Yeah. So you said you have a recruiting board, you gotta see who fits. Who fits for the bison? What, like, what, what does it mean to fit for the bison? It, you know, I think style-wise, I don't have a particular fit. I like guys that love wrestling, and if they are a different style than me or a different style than Obi, we can work together as a staff and especially with coach Mattingly and Saran, somebody will have a great input style wise. Like I don't worry about, oh, he's like this kind of wrestling style that wouldn't fit here. I, I don't care if you like wrestling and you're good at it. Like I want you here, but we also have to think about like the mentality of like, hey, we want to build something great and having somebody that's growth minded in that aspect because yeah, there's a lot of great history with NDSU wrestling, especially at the Division II level. Um, haven't been a Division I program for, you know, more than, let's say, 15 years or so. 
So we do have to have those guys that are growth minded and like, hey, we want to build this program into a top 10 team and we're only going to be able to do it after, like through development. Like it's not going to be like, hey, we're not going to bring in a top five class year after year and year after year. Like we want to get to that point, but right now it's about development. And so we really just look at, hey, do you love the sport? Um, are you willing to hone your craft and be open to communication? Like th those are the guys that we're looking for. And obviously we'll hammer the Midwest um, and try to get a few more guys from other areas, but that's kind of what we're looking for right now.